Thank you for deciding to be on the academic team to review my capstone. My capstone asks the question, what is the role of storytelling in cultural sustainability? This evening, I begin to answer the question with a story. You know, the kind that you gather children around for. It takes place on January 3rd, 2013, when three women, lovers of storytelling, folklore, and social entrepreneurship, converge to get an answer to the question. You see, once upon a time, the defense team wanted to know just why the queen asked the question. She began telling them about her life as a storyteller and how she was steeped in the African oral tradition. She had seen the oral tradition make people laugh together, embrace one another, and be the stillness of one in a silence thick enough to bear the weight of 1,000 broken hearts. Queen had traveled the country for 20 years telling stories. When all of a sudden, at the age of 52, she got a bright idea. She wanted to go back to school to get a graduate degree. She heard of this innovative program called MAX. She applied and started matriculating a Master's of Arts degree in Cultural Sustainability at Goucher College. Her coursework wasn't just theory and finances, cultural sustainability, partnerships, documentation, field work, oral history, leadership, communications, social entrepreneurship, grant writing, interpretive planning, and cultural policy. No, the courses propelled her into action. Finally, the time came for her to combine two passions, one of heart and one of mind. What could she do with all the experience that she had lived as a storyteller? She added to that question another. What could she do with all the academic knowledge she had acquired about cultural sustainability? The equation was going to be something new, something great. The merger took her on an extended journey The blessings of life had always taken her in this direction, but now there was a new path. The desire rose in her to build a new hybrid community-based organization that would serve communities by preserving and perpetuating folk life traditions and using those traditions to sustain communities and affect social change. Storytelling was essential to the organization and its project designs. In fact, innovative solutions through folk arts, culture, and tradition was born. But then there was still the question, does storytelling really make an impact? And if so, how? She decided that she would take on this question of what is the role of storytelling and cultural sustainability by looking at what was going on around the nation. How did other organizations use storytelling to build thriving communities? What programs did they implement? How did they run their organizations? How did they measure the impact of their programs? She knew that she had to look deep, microscopically deep. So she decided to study three other case models. And then she could write another story about how community-based organizations that engage in and employ the art of storytelling contribute to thriving communities. And of course, the story could not end without helping storytelling organizations think about what else is possible and how does it get better than this.